down to Miami, and that's where Sarah Rosario, Rosario is right now. And Sarah, what can you tell us? What, I can see sunshine behind you, which, which is a good sign. Ron, sunshine, blue skies in Miami right now after Irma rolled through this area, lashing it pretty hard. We know now that it's a tropical storm, its effects are fe being felt as far north as the Carolinas. You all are feeling it there in Atlanta, bringing tropical storm force winds, heavy rain, high storm surge. But back here in Miami, we're dealing with the aftermath of it all and taking a look at more of the damage. Here on this dock behind me, we've got about half a dozen boats that are underwater right now, sinking because of those hurricane force winds when Irma came through here as a category four storm hitting the southwest portion of the state, but her outer bands felt right here in Miami. If you take a look to the right there, you can see just the top of a boat there that is underwater. Again, some of the damage here across our area, but I'd say the main issue all across Florida is the lack of power. More than six million people in the dark today as crews work to assess the damage and try to find a way to get the power restored. We haven't been given any timeline as to when that could happen, but many people are waiting for it, getting cabin fever here as they walk outside and try to look at some of the damage left behind by Irma. Reporting live in Miami, Sarah Rosario, Ron, back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks a lot. And we're hearing that it may take days or weeks before a lot of that power is back on.